Jeez. My boat is a mess. So what's going on? Let me show you. <laughs> uh, I'm not ill. I'm not doing spring cleaning just yet. Uh, you never know. Uh, I might. But no, I'm getting interviewed for a little tiny documentary uh, on YouTube uh, next week, some Sunday. So that means someone is getting on my boat and... Let's tidy it up a bit. <laughs> so, for those of you who are uh, new to my channel, welcome. Um, this is my boat, uh, the Lady of Life, a 38 foot uh, steel custom cruiser. Um, I'm, I've been living on her for over a year now and it's awesome. But space is always, storage space is always an issue. Um, one gathers a lot of crap in one's life. And I'm not an exception to that rule. So, there's some garbage. There's some garbage that needs to go. So let me take you down below. So, here is my storage room bed. <laughs> This is my uh, closet for my clothes. That's my head. I will not show you that just yet because it's not clean. Well, it is clean, but it's uh, my dirty clothes are in, in there as well. So you don't need to see that. <laughs> um, down here, I really like this one. That's it. All my spices and herbs. Go. A bigger one down here. Just a little pantry. Awesome. And here is a big cupboard that I use for storage. Uh, I store some things uh, that are quite un uh, yeah, useless. So I just uh, jam it in there and uh, out of sight, out of mind. Let me show you. And that's the only thing he does, by the way. Uh, he might come in handy someday. You never know. <laughs> if you noticed, uh, I left a little light inside with him. Uh, sometimes he gets scared and makes some weird noises in the middle of the night. So uh, I figured I'd give him a night light and he's happy. <laughs> and then a couple of days ago, well, two weeks ago, uh, the god of electricity showed up. And I started arguing with him, her, it, whatever, and I lost. <laughs> I had no no power, nothing at all. Uh, the only thing that was working were my uh, uh, in-house lights, and that's it. Uh, I noticed around 10.30 at night uh, that my electric heater was, it was off, so it, it started to get cold, and I'm like, huh? That's weird, why? But it was bedtime for me anyway, so I thought, well, let's check it out tomorrow. So I did. So the next morning I woke up. Couldn't make coffee because I had no electricity. So the first thing I had to do was get dressed a bit, go up, go out, and go down that hatch. You see that red cable over there? That's my shore power cable, and it runs down into a socket in the, the engine room of the uh, the big boat uh, beside me. And uh, there's a fuse box uh, on the wall there. So I checked if one of the fuses tripped, and it didn't. So that meant I had a bigger issue. So I went outside, and it was really cold that morning, of course. Went to the back of my boat, and here's a hatch. I had to open the hatch, like so, oops, sorry. And go down the hatch, 
Oi. Come on then, I'm recreating all this for just for you. <laughs> so come on, join me. Let's go. So there I was down below that morning and I have a little breaker box right here. And I found this orange breaker, this switch, off. I don't know what it's for. It doesn't do anything. I tried to, to switch it on and it uh, turned off again. So that got me thinking, now what? So, I turn around the corner. Oh, in the back there you see my, one of my, one of the two Duff 575 DS super uh, turbocharged engines, 100, uh, 165 horsepower each. Okay, now you know. So, uh, what did I do? All these yellow cables, these thick ones, I noticed they come together in here. And then around the corner, there's this little white box with a black cap on it. Let me see if I could point it out. Can you see it? No. Well, that was the issue. Let me show. There you go. And I found one of these. Oh yeah. A little fuse. So I was hoping that one uh, was tripped and was the, the cause of my uh, power failure. But how do I know if this is the issue? I'm not an electrician. So there I went again, back upstairs, still no coffee. Ooh. Oi. So this is um, my exercise for the day. So it's still important to realize I still didn't have my morning coffee yet. So. I was getting a bit grumpy. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, me grumpy is not funny. So I had to go back inside. Now what? Okay. Back inside. Still no power. No coffee. Don't mind the garbage over there. Gonna take that out this afternoon. So, I went back in. Now what? Close the door. So, it was about 7.30 in the morning at this point. And I'm figuring, what the hell do I have to do? I know. Get a new uh, fuse. But where? So I hit the internet, found one company that uh, might have have uh, might sell them. So I went there, and sure enough, they sold them all. Not one left. Uh, so they ordered it for me, and I had to wait a couple of days. So that meant a couple of days no shore power. That's not good. So I got, got an, a big extension cord, plugged it in and uh, just hook my appliances straight into that cord and I could charge my, uh, my, uh, my phone, uh, my laptop. I could get coffee, so I did. <laughs> and then I set off on a mission uh, to find that fuse. And then another thing happened. So after I had uh, a cigarette and my uh, third cup of coffee, I was uh, feeling good about myself again. Uh, could face life again <laughs> so I thought well let's start my engines why not uh, just uh, just give them a test I do that every month and this happened I hope you can hear it nothing here this is the starter button for my uh, port side engine 
click, click, and that's it. Now what? Ugh. So, I figured that must be an electrical issue as well. <sighs> okay, so where are the starter batteries? Or do I have two? One? I don't know. Uh, I've seen one in my mind, but uh, when I bought the boat, uh, the guy showed me and uh, I forgot all about it. But I know where the, uh, it is and where they are. Turns out I have two. They are down here. Let me show you. I went on my knees, something I hate to do. But hey, it is what it is. Let me put this down. Open up the floor part. And there is. Oi, oi. Stay. A battery. The other one is behind it. And I opened up these. Just a couple. And they were bone dry. Bleep. So, there was a canister with a demineralized water. Wow, I got that right <laughs> in one go. I practiced. Uh, so, I filled it up. I thought I had enough, but I didn't. So, I had to get some more of that water. So, I hit the internet again. Where can I get it? So, I jumped in my van and went to Dekker Watersport in Zaandam. That's the city of Zaandam. And Dekker Watersport is a chandlery. And uh, I called them and they had that demineralized water. So, zoomy zoomy, went there. Took uh, a little walk around the store. It's, it's a candy store, of course. <laughs> and lo and behold, they had these fuses. Whoa, that's cool. So, I bought these, bought the mineralized water, went back. Topped up uh, my batteries, let them charge for two days, try to start them, nothing, completely dead. <sighs> when it rains it pours. Now what? So I went to uh, another store and picked up two new batteries for starting my engines. That's a uh, total price of 620 euros. Ouch. And uh, yeah, okay. It is what it is, right? But now the fun only is, is uh, beginning because now I have to get these ones out and the new ones in and with my foot I mean, they weigh the best part of uh, 40 kilograms each. And I can't have that uh, pressure on my foot. So let's see how I do. Ooh, my van needs a wash. But hey. Ta da! Yowzers. The good stuff. Now, to get them on my boat. Yikes. One hour later. Ta-da! So, thanks to uh, a kind neighbor, I have the two heavy dudes on board. These two uh, will be picked up tomorrow morning. So that's, uh, that's good as well. So now, let's install them. Here we go. So, again, many, 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 many minutes later, <laughs> I've got it. Ta da! I have my uh, two new batteries hooked it up to the charger. I googled that one, that SeaTech charger, and it turns out to be uh, an automatic charger. So, when my batteries uh, are full, it shuts down. So that's cool. So I can leave leave it on. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, there's only one thing I have to do, and I will get those tomorrow morning. 
because I can't uh, can't be bothered today. My foot is killing me. Um, I have to get uh, really b a good uh, straps to strap the batteries down to the subframe here where they are sitting in. Now they can move, and that's not a good thing. So I will get uh, one, two, three, four straps. Strap them down really tight so they can't move while I'm uh, driving the boat. Uh, so I know they are uh, safe and secure. Job done. So now um, I have to charge them for the guy told me two days, but the uh, the, the charge will do its uh, thing automatically. Uh, and yeah, I can try to start my engines now. Um, if it works, it works. If it, if they don't start, I have another another problem. <laughs> I bought two new, new batteries for Jack. Bleep. Hope not. No. The other battery is uh, completely dead, so that's not enough power to uh, to start my engines. And these are um, better batteries than the others. These are 1,400 amps of power, and the other ones, I believe, it's a thousand. So. These are uh, long life and uh, have more power, so we'll see. Job done! <laughs>safe then sorry right I'm on the floor again on my knees uh. <laughs> but it's necessary um, I have my straps down here uh, four of them and let me show you I took the charger to the side so I can run those straps underneath and fix the batteries both of them with four straps here we go. Right, so put the first one in, just uh, loop them both, both batteries in one loop, and then I'll do the same with uh, two, maybe four straps uh, more. So let's see how it goes. Saw that one moving. This one is not. Oh, it's uh, against the steel frame, so that's good. Ooh, that's tight. Um. Put the charge down again. Oh, I forgot. Where is that little? Oh, here it is. A little plate underneath it. So it can't fall in the bilge. <laughs> well, here it is. She can go back in there. It's whatever. She will fit nice and snug as a bug in a rug. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, that's 
a lot of force and oh I have three straps left I'm confident with this yeah awesome hey <laughs> so that's about it for this video guys thanks for watching um, I don't know if you can hear it but it's absolutely pouring with rain and that's bad news for me because I have to get supplies some groceries and stuff so I have to go out oh well life on the boat <laughs> okay guys Th uh, once again thanks for watching um, leave a, a thumbs up leave a like uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already I would love to have you and uh, in the next video I will show you if my engines will start up or not <laughs> bye